Howdy! Welcome back to Light Lights. If you're not familiar with the channel, this is a budget guitar and gear review channel. You couldn't tell by the massive gear <laughs> collection behind me. Uh, and all the gear and equipment you see on this channel is my own. No one is providing it to me unless it's gifts from family and friends, things like that. But it's, you know, I this is all my personal belonging. And, uh, I play guitar and bass, and it's been a long time since I bought a new bass amplifier, at least a dedicated bass amplifier. I have little, you know, I have like the Positive Grid Spark Go, which can do acoustic, electric, and bass guitar, and we have the uh, Black Star, H, uh, a Black Star Fly 3 bass, um, which is my wife's little practice bass amp. And I've been using the same pretty old Ampeg BA3, uh, BA108. Uh, solid state based amplifier for a long time. It's a 25 watt combo, but it's, it's very outdated. <laughs> I mean, it's been probably using it for, it's probably about a decade old. Um, something like that. And that's, it's, it was time to upgrade. So, at least modernize. We have an unboxing. And I'm pretty excited about this one. I've actually had this for two or three days now. But I've been sick and I didn't feel like opening and playing hardly anything. I have been fighting migraines and stuff like that. So we're gonna go ahead and open this together and we're gonna we're gonna take a quick look at this really awesome piece of kit. So here we go. <laughs> if you know me, you know I love Fender. If you watch this channel hardly at all. Yeah, I love it. So, <laughs> I think I have to way to this. <laughs> All right. So yes, I did buy this through Sweetwater, uh, which I purchase most of my stuff through Sweetwater these days. They just ship to me so fast. I'm in the Midwest, and so I usually get my stuff from them in oh, day, two days. Um, it's very quick, uh, which I do appreciate. I don't know how many of these Sweetwater stickers I have, but it's, it's ridiculous. Complimentary candy via sweet water. I will take that. Don't need it, but I will take that. All right, and I'm gonna see if I can push this cardboard box out of the way and get this plastic up here and let you guys see this. Ah. Oh, I love that. It's pretty. This is dun, dun, dun. <laughs> the Fender Rumble 25. So. Why I wanted this, again, it is the same wattage as my Ampeg BA-108, but what is important is my Ampeg BA-108, while it does have a speaker out on the back, and this one does not, um, I, again, I'm not really geeking out. I'm doing this all in home recording setup, essentially, and, you know, um, one of those things with that is sometimes I like to have the option to use aux in which my ampeg has a cd player in which i don't really have any of those cords anymore to do that and i also have a contour button and an overdrive button which my ampeg ba 108 i have to use pedals for any gain any distortion any overdrive anything like that has to be done uh through pedals this already has it built in so that's pretty cool. Again, this is an eight inch, or just like my BA-108, it is also a, an eight inch speaker. It's not a huge amp, it's actually fairly light. But, you know, it's Fender. It's got the classic Fender aesthetics. And yeah, I'm, I actually think this is a beautiful little amp. So let's go ahead and uh, let's try it out together. And we're gonna, I'll do a full video, a full review on this after I've had some time to play with it, probably a week or two from now. Um, but, you know, uh, we'll go ahead and uh, we'll plug in here and we'll just get some, we'll, we'll just try her, try it out. So, I'm going to set it up like this so you guys can see. Ooh, hello. And um, so the Fender Rumble series is not something I'm new to. New to. Every time I go to the Guitar Center to try out a, uh, a bass, um, this is what I end up plugging into is something, either this, the 40, whatever they have out is, uh, I usually find one with some, you know, overdrive and some other stuff to try out. So again, we're, we're just 
playing through the Jackson JS1M concert bass. I believe we are in uh, drop D. So, it already sounds really good, actually. It does sound pretty good. So let's go ahead and give, uh, let's do some slide by style tweaking here and my settings. I like a lot of mids. Ooh. Volume jump. Here we go. Volume control is pretty sensitive. Sounds really good. I actually really like that. Let's go ahead and try the contour button and just see what that does. doesn't add a lot of gain to it, maybe just the volume? Yeah, it's kind of different. It's, so you're, it's adding a little bit of grit in there. Obviously, it probably would add more if I could crank the volume up, but again, it is getting very loud already. And I don't have the volume very high at all. So that, that's something, you know, uh, if you need to be quiet, uh, this may not be. <laughs> yeah, this is probably is basement level uh, appropriate. Small Again, I'm recording this in the early AM uh, because I'm a second shift. And, or a night shift, really, uh, a, you know, person, I, I'm a vampire, you know, as far as sleep schedules, uh, concerned, so, it, yeah, it is very different, um, it'll take me a little bit getting used to, I'm sure, I'm gonna go ahead and turn that about like this, let's do something like this, and, uh, let's turn that overdrive back on. Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> it sounds really good though. This thing, I have to admit, this sounds way better than my Ampeg. Uh, I like my Ampeg for what it is, but and it's been a good amp for 10 years, but this sounds amazing. It's gonna take me again some getting used to with the volume and everything, and there's not any more controls for the game. Now, if you step up and to the uh, 40 or the yeah the 40 watt rumble, uh, the rumble 40, say that more correctly. Okay, if you step up to the 40, <laughs> the rumble 40, you get a lot more game control and uh, a lot more um, flexibility in that sense. But this just has the button. But honestly, um, I really like it. Uh, it's simple. <laughs> super impressed I didn't uh, know what to expect going into this this thing sounds really good I'm liking that overdrive it's not again it's not a lot of gain or crunch or distortion or anything like that but it's very good that's it off and this is it on it's just a different tone it's kind of kind of crazy turn the contour on or uh, contour back off so the contour is on for the last one this is the contour off and the overdrive off all right so let's go ahead and do the overdrive now <laughs> yeah, and here it's a decent sized amp. It looks really good, and it's actually, I'm gonna say for a studio amp, I think this is, would be a great option for anybody. You know, you need something small. It actually says on here the actual product description says a um, uh, 25 watt amplifier, ample for the acoustic, basically for acoustic sets or small venues, and it's like I wouldn't have thought, but it is. I mean, I can barely get that volume. Up. This is the version three. Uh, I don't know what version we're currently actually on. Um, this is 2016. Is that how long these have been out now in the version 3? Anyway, there's not a whole lot more that you can, I mean, ask of something like this. It is a very, you know, lightweight. This is 21 pounds, and I believe it, you know, I definitely very light and very, you know, portable, but it's got good sound quality. You do have your three band EQ, bass, mid, treble, you have your aux in, your headphone in, uh, volume knob, overdrive button, and your contour button. So you can, ca and the contour button, probably just, I'm from what I can hear is just kind of moving your mid range around. So let's push that. Here's what it sounds like. Overdrive is on and the contour button is not engaged. <laughs> I think it's more of a scoop sound, which, but actually I think it sounds really good. 
It's going to take me some time to play around with the EQ and kind of get it set up the way I would like it. I really want it, but I think right now, as is, it sounds really good. And I'm very, very pleased with it so far. So we'll do a full review on it um, after I get some time in it. I'm going to try it with some active pickups. Because um, my Ampeg does have the padded input, basically. So you have reduced decibels for uh, active pickups or, and things like that. This does not have that. So I want to see how it handles, you know, like an Ibanez. Um, my Ibanez active um, five string and I'll try it with uh, precision and jazz pickups from my Yamaha and we'll, I'm gonna play with it under this uh, for a little bit too with this bass so this Jackson so guys thanks for watching slide lights hope this was fun for you um, it's always fun opening this stuff with you know getting you guys already seeing my real first impressions with it you know, right out of the, the box to hear what I think of something there. Uh, I'm very glad I got this and in the price range for the budget yeah I'm definitely happy with it it so far so we'll see anyway guys thanks so much for watching slide lights appreciate all of you keep coming back um please like and subscribe if you feel like i've earned it because that means a lot to me to have to earn it from you that's something i want um also if you like my you know how i'm playing you like the sound of this uh please check me out over at uh uh instagram and on tiktok at slide bites uh and the tiktok is at slide bites guitar but yeah, you can find me on both those platforms. I write a lot of original music. I build uh, Mobile Suit Gundam models, things like that. So, and I post that stuff over there. Uh, and over here, you get reviews on YouTube. So anyway, uh, guys, thank you so much. Keep shredding partners. More content is always, always in the works. <laughs> Talk to you later.